Welcome to the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to Western New York and to Buffalo to give everyone an update on that big alleged mob-related racketeering, bribery, drug, and sex trafficking case against uh, reputed Buffalo Mafia Don Joe Pizza Tadaro Jr.'s nephew, uh, Peter Jerese Jr. We should say that uh, Mr. Tadaro has not been, you know, connected to any of these alleged uh, illegal activities being run out of Jerese alleged activities being run out of Jerese Jr.'s Pharaoh's Gentlemen's Club in suburban Buffalo. He's behind bars right now, waiting for trial later this summer. And it's been five years since the first shoe dropped on this case. And we just had our fourth person either directly connected to the case or tangentially connected to the case die. So what we know about this new dead witness, his name was Bobby Kaiser, 50 years old, um, had been a confidential source for Bon Giovanni in the early 2010s. Testify was one of the first witnesses to testify for the prosecution back in February. And according to that testimony, um, Mr. Kaiser believed that Bon Giovanni had burned him, had exposed him, let people know on the street that he had been informing. He was found dead face down uh, on a Buffalo bike path on May 14th. Uh, Joe Bon Giovanni, the retired DEA agent, accused of taking bribes, of protecting. Uh, Buffalo mob drug operations, some of which were being run out of, alleged to be run out of Pharaoh's Gentlemen's Club in partnership with Jerase Jr. And the star witness in the case, according to the federal government, was killed last spring before she could take the stand. That was Jerase's personal assistant, uh, appointment secretary, Crystal Quinn. She had turned government cooperator months earlier. She was killed by a hot dose in August. There have been charges related to that alleged homicide uh, put forth um, related to obstruction. There haven't been direct homicide charges dropped yet. I would expect those to come soon. But besides Quinn, we have now this new witness who took the stand against Bon Giovanni um, bon Giovanni convicted on two lesser counts, hung jury on the more serious counts. He's going back to trial later this month. There was a, a hearing last Friday where this came up, um, and it seems they've really been buried by the Buffalo media. I'm just scratching my head uh, why this is kind of being kept hidden. But again, the fourth person tied to this case in one way or the other to pop up dead since the case first came to be. And uh, it started with Charlie Durante, uh, literally hours before Bon Giovanni is indicted in November of 19, which was the first part of this case to come. Uh, Durante ended up dead under suspicious circumstances in Amherst. He was the general manager of a, uh, funeral home. They claimed it's suicide. There are people that think it wasn't a suicide. He had some ties to the drug world and Bon Giovanni and Gerace Jr., um, allegedly. And he was found dead uh, one, two o'clock in the morning. And by, nine, I, uh, by 6 a.m., I think the feds are hitting Bon Giovanni's door or, you know, by late morning he's in handcuffs and uh indicted and being booked in for the case that was kind of a foreshadowing of things to come uh Gerace is brought into the case in a superseding indictment that comes in 21 then in the spring of 2022 new york supreme court judge john mikulski ends up dead allegedly of suicide allegedly uh, literally less than a week, only a couple of days removed from uh, federal agents raiding his property. It comes out later that he's an unindicted co-conspirator in the case. And now we have this, which came out in court 
last week that a witness who testified against Bon Giovanni has died and that that testimony will be read into the record um, when Bon Giovanni sees another jury later this summer. Uh, it's crazy, man. It's been five years of this and, and people keep dying. Um, I'll keep updating you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Spread the word about the OG pod. We love bringing you the latest breaking news when it comes to organized crime in America. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG pod out. Mm-hmm.